Hello, mathematicians. This video is going to be on similarity and scale factor. So it says that these quadrilaterals are similar. It is clear to see that this pink quadrilateral on the left is quite a bit bigger than the one on the right. So, but there is a scale factor going from this pink one to the blue one, which makes it smaller. We will find out what that scale factor is, but for right now, all that we're going to do is we're going to talk about what it means for two shapes to be similar to each other. So for these shapes to be similar for, to each other, what it means is that the ratio from any of the sides on this quadrilateral to compared to the other side, so that ratio, let's say the ratio from 12 to 6, let's just put that over here. So 12 to 6 is equal to um, the same sides that correspond with this shape over here. So 12 corresponds with 8. So 8 goes on top over here. And six corresponds with four over here. So the ratio from 12 to six is the same as a ratio from eight to four. And we know that 12 over six, that's just 12 divided by six, that equals two, eight over four, eight divided by four, and that is two. So it's easy to see that these ratios are the same in this instance. So let's do one more example. So the ratio from six to 15, so six over 15 is equal to the ratio from four to 10. And again, let's just simplify these. Um, greatest common factor between 6 and 15 is 3. So let's divide both of these by 3. We end up getting 2 over 5. Greatest common factor between 4 and 10 is 2. And we end up getting 2 over 5. So again, these ratios from 6 to 15 is the same as the ratio from 4 to 10. Now that we have a little bit of an idea of what it means for these quadrilaterals to be similar to each other, Let's go, let's do a problem here where say we are given that this side on top is equal to nine and we are looking for this side length right here. So the ratio from nine to 15, the ratio from nine to 15 is equal to the ratio from this unknown value, this unknown value, let's call it X, from X to 10. And we know how to solve proportions. So again, we just cross multiply, right? Cross multiply. And we end up getting 15x equals 90, right? Divide by 15, divide by 15. We end up getting x is equal to 6. So up top, x is equal to 6. That is one way of doing it. Another way of doing it is, well, we can look at what is the scale factor going from this one, from this uh, pink quadrilateral to the blue one? So there's some uh, constant value that takes 6 to 4 that is the same as that takes 12 to 8 and 15 to 10 and 9 to 6. So let's find out what that scale factor is. That constant is called a scale factor. So going from 6 to 4, 6 times what gives me 4? So let's find that out. So 6 times x, we call it x, equals 4. Divide by 6 on both sides. These cancel each other out, so we end up getting x is equal to 4 over 6, and we can divide both of these by 2 to simplify, and we end up getting 2 over 3. 2 over 3 is our scale factor. And what that means is that we see any of these corresponding sides, so 12 to 8. 12 times 2 thirds gives me 8. 6 times 2 thirds gives me 4. 9 times 2 thirds gives me 6. 15 times times two-thirds gives me 10. So that is our scale factor. Scale factor is two-thirds. So that is just a short little introduction on similarity and scale factor. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something.